Perhaps the obvious thing to add to any slide to make it look better is imagery. Imagery is a good way to enhance your content, not only because it looks nice, but also because it provides your audience with non-verbal content. Here's a nice example, using a winding road to give the impression of the journey you're going to take, which ties in neatly with content on the timeline. All very well and good, but where do you get your images? And we're not talking Google search here. There are plenty of great paid, and more importantly, free resources at your fingertips. One of the best free online image libraries that we at Bright Carpet are big fans of is Unsplash. You can search for all kinds of stock photography, all professionally shot and available for you to download and use absolutely free in any circumstances. Let's kick things off with some practical tips using a few cute characters freshly downloaded from Unsplash as props. Can you spot the odd one out here? Yep, that's right. The image on the right is a very different style of image. It's in a landscape orientation and taken from a wider field of view, so you have more background in it. But you can use the crop tools to manipulate your images to ensure everything is consistent. Let's select the rabbit image and go to the Format tab on the ribbon. Here you can use the crop function on the right hand side to remove areas of the image you don't want. Use the black grab handles to crop down the image and focus more on the rabbit to bring it into line with the other images. That looks more consistent, but the images are still different aspect ratios. Select them all, and in the crop menu you can choose to crop to a shape. In this case, let's choose a circle, and you'll see that all the images have now got rounded edges. The problem is that two are tall ovals while the rabbit is an off-circle shape. If you go back to the crop options and then choose aspect ratio, you can set all the images to have the same proportions. In this case, choosing one to one will bring all the images into perfect circles. Do that for the second image and then do it for the third. And now they're all consistently shaped, which looks much better. The final fix is sizing. Select all the images again and go back to the format tab on the ribbon. Just to the right of the crop options, you'll see the sizing tools. If you type in a height for all of them, say 3.5 inches, they all snap to the same size. And then just line them up neatly on the slide using the alignment tools to line them up evenly and distribute them for a much better looking slide. What do you think? And here's another really good example of how you can use the crop to shape function to really focus in on an area. It's simply a grayscale version of the image and then a crop to circle for the color image. It's a great way to focus attention and help support your point.